Hey guys! How's it going? Today is a very fun video. It is a tag video. And this is the unfortunate book tag. This is the first video challenge for the unfortunate read along. And this read along is taking place the entire month. So if you are interested in participating um, with the video challenges or the read along itself with the series of unfortunate events, I will link the read along Twitter down below so you can check that out. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with the tag questions. Question one, Violet Baudelaire, a book that brought something new. This could be a character, plot point, or trope. The Six of Crows series. Now, this is the first heist book slash series I've read. I need to read the second book, but I'm probably going to do a reread first. Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. I'm picking this one because the magic itself is very new to me. I never read anything like it. It has, as magic as science-based from what I've read in this book. It's, it's very interesting. It's really hard for me to explain, but yeah, this is what I'm going to go with. Two, Sunny Baudelaire, a book that left a lasting mark, aka bite. Okay, so this one is kind of weird because I've never had a book that I couldn't explain why I love it, and this is, I think, why I remember it so much, but it's going to be Patrick Rothfuss series, the name, or the King Killer Chronicles. I love this series. I can't really explain why, um, and that's why it really has stuck with me. Um, for me, it's The Poppy War, written by R.F. Kuang. This left a lasting mark on me because it really delved into the casualties of war. Those casualties were very graphic, gruesome. It was very realistic, and those casualties can be related by members of the military like him or his friends that have experienced it. And it was just very hard-hitting for me, so um, that's why I left a lasting mark. Three, Klaus Baudelaire, a book you just couldn't stop reading. Now this was a series I just couldn't put down, and that's going to be the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas, and it was just nonstop on your foot, on your toes. I love assassins. I love the how she's one step ahead of everybody, and it's just all in all a great series. Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Could not put this book down. Every spare chance I got, I was reading it. Thomas felt unloved and ignored during the time, but this book was just too good for me to put down when I wasn't taking care of our kids. So, <laughs> yeah. Four, Count Olaf, a character that you love to hate. Example, favorite villain, least favorite protagonist. Now, once again, I'm going back to the Throne of Glass series. And this character is, I'm not going to say, because you guys need to figure it out by reading this book. I hate this character, but I love her at the same time. Queen Lavana from the Lunar Chronicles absolutely hated her so much. Horrible, horrible human being. No, horrible person. Horrible thing. Horrible lunar person. Yeah, she's just downright horrible, and I hated her, so I picked her. Five, Uncle Monty, a character death that you just can't get over. I unfortunately don't have one because normally when a character dies, I... It doesn't bother him. Yeah, he has just no... roll with the punches and just let it go. It never really gets to me. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, why did they kill that person? It was kind of stupid, but other than reading that... Or he'll be like, like, damn, that sucks. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. Hang on to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, was, there was a death in Crown of Midnight. That I think broke me so much and I'm not gonna say who it is if you haven't read the series but it just it destroyed me like no other and it took me a while to recover before I could read Air Fire so yeah I'm, I'm still not 100% over the death that happened in this book it's because you're so And next question. <laughs> Six, Aunt Josephine, weird, but you love it. Character or book? Once again, The Six of Crows. Love this book, and my TBR is getting so long that I don't know if I'm going to get to the second one, but... 
Why yes. was it weird? It just, it was, it was different. It was different? Weird being different. Weird being different. Okay. Different for me. I don't have an answer for that question, unfortunately. Seven, Justice Strauss. Had the best intentions, but didn't follow through. This could be a book, character that had potential, but didn't follow through. You guys are going to hate me for this. The entirety of the Mortal Instruments series. Oh, snap. Had such potential, but it was... Squelched. I actually have the word mortal instruments <laughs> that I haven't even touched. I don't know if I'll ever touch those books, but we'll see. That is the tag. I hope you guys enjoy this and please check out the Twitter for the unfortunate read along and join us if you are interested. It's a lot of fun. So, yeah. And I mean, it's a series of unfortunate events, it's amazing. It's fun. Love it. Read it. Get it. You're being a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to scare them away. It's almost, it's almost Halloween. We have to be a little creepy. Maybe being creepy is why we lost subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that works. Just kidding. Just kidding. I love you. All right. We love you guys, and we hope you have a great night. Take it easy. Bye, guys.